Show Showcase Sunday um, for the weekend of December 31st. Last post of the year. Um, yeah, I'm sporting some really short bangs because I got frustrated with them and cut them and we'll just leave it at that. Um, they'll grow out in a couple weeks. It's not a big deal, but they're a little, little crazy right now. Anyways, this is my Christmas haul. Uh, I have 17 books here to go through, so I'm just going to start going through them. I got them from a variety of sources. Some were uh, reviews, a lot were gifts. Some I bought with like gift certificates and stuff, so gift cards. All right, so the first one I got is actually a review book, and that is Missing by Kelly Armstrong. This is supposed to be like a young adult thriller mystery. It doesn't come out until April, so quite a few months. I got it through NetGalley. Um, so this is one I got for review. My whole like setup here is a little messed up because we had stuff moved around for like wrapping presents and whatever and stuff falling over. All right, the second one I got for review is Miranda and Caliban by Jacqueline Carey. Um, I've been a pretty big Jacqueline Carey fan since her Cushel's Dart series. Um, this, I don't know, this is supposed to be a retelling of The Tempest. Uh, between that, like she did a couple urban fantasy series like Santa Olivia, which was okay, and then. Um, Another one that I'm blanking on. It involved a lady that was like half demon or whatever in our urban fantasy. Um, but this is, sounds like it's getting back to more like a fantasy type of thing, which should suit her writing style better, I think. Um, this I also got through NetGalley. It comes out February 14th, so in a, in a month and a half or so. Um, I like the cover. It's very interesting. Anyways, I am eager to read that and see if, you know, this is more like the Jacqueline Carey that I really liked when I was reading um, Chrishell, the Chrishell's book. Alright, so now I'm going to get into all the ones that were gifts. I'm going to try to move this real careful because this table isn't real stable. And I'll move back a little bit. Alright, so first one I got for a gift is Strike by Delilah S. Dawson. Um, this is the second book in the Hit series. Um, the series about like basically this credit card company takes over the government and decides to call in everyone's debts. Um, you get a choice. You can either pay your debt immediately or you can become a hitman and go and um, well, I guess the third choice is you can die. <laughs> but you become a hitman and then you have to go collect debts from other people and give them the same choice which is basically to pay their debt, become a hitman, or die. So it's a little bit far-fetched for a premise, but it was very interesting, and I actually enjoyed Hit a lot more than I thought I would, so I'm curious to see how, how Strike um, winds up. So that was a good one. Okay, and then I did get the next two books in the Saga, saga Graphic Novel series, um, book five and book six. We'll do this. Um, this is a science fiction graphic novel series that's very, very adult but also very, very good. It's kind of like a space opera type of thing. So I was excited to get those. Um, I got Court of Nightfall by Karpov Kinraid. I probably murdered that. Um, this one I'm, I'm very excited to read. It's about a girl, I believe, who's like an angel or fought angels or something like that. It sounds pretty good. Um, I've heard a lot of good things about it, so I think it should be pretty good. It's like a young adult, like, paranormal fantasy type thing. I also got Mind Games by Jenna Oliver. This is, I did not even know this was out, which I love, love the Demon Trapper series. So this is the, the fourth book in that series, right? Yeah. Um, I did not know there was another book in that series, and I adored this series. I was actually reading a novella in that series, and then all of a sudden was like, oh my god, there's another book in that series. Anyways, this is about a girl, it's a young adult, urban fantasy, about a girl named Riley, who becomes a demon hunter, basically. It's like a future post-apocalyptic demons have, like, destroyed a lot of the world thing. And she becomes a demon hunter, and... It's very well written. The characters are awesome. The story is awesome. There's a ton of action. The action's very well written. I really love this series. It's probably one of my favorite young adult paranormal series. Next one I got for a gift is The Architect of Song by A.G. Howard. A.G. Howard wrote the Splintered series, which was a retelling of Alice in Wonderland, kind of like an extension of that story. Um, this I'm very excited to read. Uh, this sounds like, well, it's the first in a new series called The Haunted Hearts Legacy Series. And it's kind of like a um, gothic, like, ghost story thing. 
and that's all I really know about it, but I really, really love Splintered, so I wanted to give this a shot too. So, The Architect of Song. Hopefully I like it. And the last one, actually my son got this as a gift, but I already read it, <laughs> is The Nameless City by Faith Erin Hicks. And this was really good. I like this a lot. Um, you know, I think I see some pictures there. Uh, it's kind of middle grade, young adult, graphic novel. Um, it's very good. All right, so then because I got some gift certificates and had to return some books and stuff, I did buy some books. And I bought a few for Kindle. I got One Fell Sweep by Lona Andrews. This is the third book in the Innkeeper Chronicles, which is released as um, at installments on their blog, but then they publish a book when this part's done. So yeah, I'm excited to read that. I got that for Kindle. And then I got another Jaina Oliver book that I did not realize had been published, uh, Tangled Souls. And this one, I think, is about a lady who sees ghosts or something. Anyways, whatever. I'm excited to read that. I bought that for Kindle. And then um, Amazon was having, like, a really big sale on Kindle books, like, best, most popular books of the year or whatever. And I have not yet read Empire Storms by Sarah J. Moss. So I went ahead and got this for Kindle. It was, like, four bucks or something like that. And I don't know if the sale is still on, but it is if you're interested. And this is such a big book. I think it'll be a lot easier to read on Kindle. So um, I got that one, which, again, young adult fantasy. And then I bought some physical books with my Amazon. I got some Amazon gift certificates. Uh, I got Rust by Royden Lepp. This is um, kind of the prequel to the Rust series. So there's supposed to be four books in this series eventually, and books one through three have been released. And it's kind of like set in a future world where we're at war, but this boy who's kind of like... Uh, air pilot robot kid guy um ends up on a farm and the other books and helping them with stuff so i don't know i like these a lot they're all done in this real beautiful like sepia tone and, and stuff so looking forward to reading that and then my graphic novel i am most excited about for the whole year book eight in the vinland saga this has been a historical graphic novel set, kind of like in the Viking era. Love it, love it, love it. The illustration and the detail in here is just, again, this is pretty adult, so let me make sure I don't, okay. The detail in some of these illustrations is amazing. Um, it's just beautiful. The author puts so much work into not only the illustration, but the history and like in between. So this is an omnibus of a whole bunch of the books, but, um, in between like each book he writes about the history and all that stuff and it's very very cool i've really been loving these and i look forward to them so much every year it looked like for a couple years there that they weren't going to keep releasing them in the u.s but they are thank goodness so this is book eight I'm very excited to read that all right there's only three more to go and i apologize this is so long the next book i got is swap through paperbackswap.com and this is exit strategy by kelly armstrong um, this is the only Kelly Armstrong series I have not read, and I really didn't like her Women of the Otherworld series, but her other series, she's been writing these thrillers and, um, you know, all these other ones. I guess the one is paranormal, so I've really been liking. So this is Exit Strategy, and this is the first book in the Nadia Stafford series, I think, or something. It's about a woman who ends up as a hitman. Well, a hit woman, I guess. But, um, yeah, I'm excited to read that because I have really been liking her, like, new stuff she's been writing. Um, and, of course, I'm blanking. She wrote, like, uh, there's, like, a lot of, she wrote a young adult series that I really liked. Um, and then, oh, they have it. This must be older. And then she wrote one that was, like, a thriller where they went out into this, like, City of the Lost. That one was really good. And then she wrote the Canesville books, and those have been really, really excellent. Those are like more like paranormal, like small town thing. So, blah, blah, blah. All right. I did get a couple books from the library as well, because when I, when I get books for Christmas, I go through my Amazon wish list, and I take off the ones I got. I see if there's any ones I want to buy, and then I go through all of them and see if there's any I can get at the library. So this is when I was able to get at the library. Um, Dragons Beware by Raphael Rosado and George Aguirre. And I probably said that wrong again. Um, this is the second book in the Chronicles of Claudette about a little girl who does not want to be a little girl. She wants to be a warrior and she wants to slay things. 
but she finds out it's got beautiful, like bright, fun colors. It is very, very hilarious. Um, definitely children to middle grade level, uh, but I really enjoy it, and my son really loves them. And he saw I had this from the library, and he stole it from me and read it last night. He, I was like, "Where did that book go?" And he goes, "Oh yeah, I might have taken it." So, so yeah, that's a fun one. And then the other one I got from the um, library is another graphic novel, and that is Witches. This is supposed to be a super creepy, like, um, they recommend, like, if you like, like, lock and key, you know, horror graphic novel stuff, this is supposed to be that kind of a thing. Um, the illustration is really, really unique. They've got kind of this, like, patina, like somebody dumped watercolors all over everything or something throughout the whole book. So it's, it's really, really interesting. Um, hopefully I'm not sure anything bad. Um, again, mature. So, you know, I wouldn't recommend anybody younger reading that. So that's what I got. Um, I don't know if I really want to go over it. Again, so these two from the library. This swapped. These, this blah, blah, blah. These bought. Uh, these three. Bought. Gift. Gift. I need to go every time I sit down, I, ah, I'm losing things. These two are gifts. There's like some on the ground, I guess. These two are gifts. And then gift. And then two for you. So I think I counted beforehand. It was like 17 or something like that. It's a lot of books. And I hope you guys got a lot of books for Christmas as well. Um, I've been off work all week, which is awesome. I want to do this every week, but then it probably wouldn't be awesome if I did it for too many weeks in a row. Uh, and my son has been off. He's been going and doing some activities with his like before after care. They went to you know, Gravity, Trampoline Park, and then they went to movie theater. And so he wanted to do some of those. So he did that the last couple days. But he's home with me today downstairs finishing his math homework. Very excited about that. He is. Um, anything else? I don't think so. I hope you guys have a great New Year's. I apologize that this is so long. Um, I hope you got a lot of great books over Christmas and that you're having fun reading them all and have been able to take at least a little bit of time off work to do that. I will talk to you next week. Goodbye.